If you want to populate your virtual skies with a realistic, real-world traffic, you want to watch this Microsoft Flight Simulator add-on video. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, I'm running a charity fundraiser, raising money for two fantastic charities. I'll be going for a skydive at the end of it, so if you really want to help me out and help these charities out, consider donating 100% of the proceeds will go to these two amazing charities, it really means a lot. In today's video, as you can see in here, I'll be talking about a relatively new add-on on FlightSim.to that injects realistic, high-quality models from the IVAO database into Microsoft Flight Simulator for it to use with live traffic, which means to a certain degree you'll get realistic aircraft that match the actual plane in real life. It is a very cool feature, and as you can see, Amsterdam is buzzing with aircraft, especially beautiful little blue KLM 737s, so it is a very superb add-on that looks really good good. I'll be showing you how to install it and just having a little look around. Okay, so first of all, let me state this add-on isn't perfect. It's not without its flaws. Because it relies off the default Microsoft Flight Simulator Live Traffic System, it's a bit temperamental and it is a bit delayed when it comes to aircraft. There seems to be about a 10-15 minute delay. In addition to that, as it uses the old IVAO packages, some of the liveries are outdated, but do not fear, they seem to be updated by IVAO quite often. Here in the busy part of Amsterdam Schiphol Airport at the moment, we've got plenty of 737s uh, by KLM and Transavia, with a slightly older EasyJet livery there, but aside from that, it does look really realistic. It's as simple as that, you get aircraft popped in, following the real world liveries, I do recommend you go to a busy airport to try it out, otherwise um, you might not see many aircraft because of the delay. And of course, once you're loading up, you'll want to select live traffic, and I do recommend you put name tags on, or traffic tags I should say, on first, just so it points out where they are, so you can see whether the add-on is working or if it's just being a bit slow to load in. Anyway, let's hop over and I'll show you how to install it now. So here we are on the uh, flightsim.to website, as you can see they've got plenty of screenshots here showing you it in action and quite often than not it does match up the aircraft pretty well, it really does look quite beautiful. The instructions are all down here if you want to read through them, I do recommend you do. It will explain it to you better than the video and of course you can read it as you like and follow the steps directly. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to ivao.aero. And as you can see, I'm logged in with my IVAO account. If you don't know what IVAO is, it stands for International Virtual Aviation Organization. As you can see, it's basically like VATSIM. I've got 10 hours on it. I do use it a bit more than VATSIM, but I don't use it all too much. And it means I'm just a flight student, it's the, but it's the second rank, basically. It means I can fly, and I'm not a complete newbie, uh, but I'm still learning, of course. Anyway, you're going to want to come up here and come up to a Resources, then down to Software Beta. Click on that. Click on Pilot Client Altitude, which is their new Pilot Client. There's a bit of a tongue twist there. Read through all of this to make sure you're downloading the right one. Come down here and click the Download button. Then choose the current one. Now this will install IVAO's clients for you which means if you want to you can go on it, speak to the real world air traffic controllers although you do not want to be training before. You don't have to sign up to IVAO to use it, we're just going to use this to install the livery and aircraft packages. You want to click on that, mine's going to open up in WinRAR, so you do want to extract that. If you've got WinRAR just put it back in downloads and there we go. Once you're in downloads, you'll see Altitude Microsoft Flight Simulator underscore 2020. Click on that. Click on the .exe, the executable, and run it. You'll then see something like this. Now, because I've already installed it, I'm not going to go do it again. But if you want to, you can just go and make sure you select your community file. Make sure you select your community file. 
I selected packages like it does automatically and it doesn't seem to work. If you select your community file, it seems to work just fine. Anyway, then you're going to want to install it. It's 125 megabytes, really not very big. That will install all the packages for you. I'm going to exit this here because I've already done it and I don't want to mess up my installation. Then you can come back onto the website here. Come and down and click download. Once it's downloaded and because flightsim.to have some weird kind of protection, um, it often does take quite a while. It may be in a zip file like this, just extract it and bring it back to your main library. Then you'll see IVAO underscore X CSL, which is model matching basically. You'll then see it in here, IVAO underscore X dash CSL. You don't need to worry about clicking on it, you just need to drag it into your community file. For those of you who don't know where the community file is, you should do because you've installed the IVAO client in there. It'll be in users, your name, app data, roaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator. That will be for Steam, it's pretty similar for everything else, whether you've got it on the Windows version or whatever. Now this is the bit that I messed up, and I don't know if I messed it up or it's just if my installation's messed up, but you can see right now I've got my community file and my official file on the outside. Normally, or what I used to do, was go into packages. Well it would appear this doesn't work, so these are all outdated and old and I could just delete them all. So for me, I just come into my community file and it's all in there. This is the only one that works, apparently, I don't know, it, it's confusing. But just find your community file, the one that works for you. You'll then see IVAO underscore X dash CSL, that's the default one that IVAO's client installs. So if you've installed Altitude correctly, that should be in your file. As you can see, going through it, we've got all of the planes we've got. It'd be nice to add some few more, uh, but we've got the A319, A320, A321. You've even got the A380 in there, which is very nice. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is come back to the recently downloaded file. And as simple as that, drag it over here. It might take a bit of a while to move it over. It did for me, there was some sort of conflict. And you're going to want to click replace all. Don't worry, it won't break it. Even if it does, you can reinstall. It's not touching your Microsoft Flight Simulator files. And as you can see, we'll now click replace the files in the destination. And it'll get to 100%. If it does freeze, which it did for me, just wait. It seems to be quite slow. Maybe it's just my computer. Maybe you don't have any problems. Then hopefully you'll get to 100%. As you can see, it's all replaced mine now. And the file is complete. Then you can come back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, click live traffic, and you'll see it all. Fantastic add-on. A bit of a pain to install, I'll admit, but it is really worth it. And would you look at the 777 that spawned in right next to the Pilot Stud A320 over there. Simply fantastic. So there we have it guys, I hope this tutorial and installation video has really helped you out. Honestly, just go read the instructions on the website on flightsim.to, the link's in the description. Probably explains it better than I do. I do really recommend this add-on, it works a treat. Thank you so much for watching this video. As I said, I'm doing a charity fundraiser for two awesome charities. So your support would be really, really appreciated there, honestly. Thank you so much. Anyway, guys, from me today, that is all. Thank you to my first class channel members. Thank you to shout out. Thank you to Simon Schmidt, Ethan Brubeck, Captain Matt Russell, and Jesse Wiseman. You guys really do help me out. And if you really want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member for exclusive perks, such as a shout-out at the end of the video. Anyway guys, from me today, that is all. Bye-bye.